So if you didn't know, yesterday I did a video on attempting to jailbreak my iPod Touch first generation here, and it failed. I couldn't figure out what to do. I had the wrong Red Snow version, all the other things. It's just basically me not knowing what I was doing. Um, you guys were very nice, though, and did help me, or at least attempt to help me out. And I thank you guys a lot for at least reaching out and trying to help me. Um, your comments did really help me out, and one of my friends hooked me up with Red Snow 0.9.4, which is the Red Snow version that's compatible with iOS 3 um, to jailbreak it. So I got on my computer now, want to do a follow-up video that I did get this thing jailbroken eventually, so let's begin. So obviously right here, this is my iPod Touch first generation, and I just wanted to do this fresh unlock because this is running a fresh version of iOS 3 right here, slide to unlock edit home screen and right there we don't got anything installed on here fresh out of the uh, or fresh hot off of the iTunes servers so let's begin the jailbreak process overall the jailbreak process is pretty simple really and this isn't like a how-to tutorial you could probably use this video as a how-to tutorial but that's not what uh, this video is dedicated for so you know plug it in shut it down you know how the drill is with jailbreaking these old devices shut down and wait for it to shut down once your device is shut down go ahead and launch into red snow 0.9.4 browse for your IPS of the W in my case it is in here I got all the way buried in here so we want this one open and processing firmware identified let it load I did this earlier, but I just restored the iPods, so that way I knew what I was doing, so, you know. I did brick it, too. I tried installing Winterport on here, and it somehow bricked it into uh, what I call not-so-safe mode. Basically, it's in safe mode, but, like, disables pretty much everything. The touch screen, the, the buttons, unless you're rebooting, of course, so I don't know. Um, I just restored it, and I'm just doing this video again, so I like to have verbose boot. And um, we can do that. Next. Next. Oh, uh, wait. I took out my nice fancy mics that way you guys could still hear me without me screaming at the top of my lungs. So, um, of course, I have to be holding the iPod to do this. So, um, you know, click next now. And three. Oh, I can't reach it. Okay. Three, two, one. Nope. Never mind. Okay. There we go. I'm not showing it on camera just because of the fact that I don't want to mess this up. Because I know how I am. All right, I can show this now though, since I'm just holding down the home button. Right there, doing its thing. White screen. Downloading jailbreak data. And I'm not sure if I should just keep, yeah, I'm just gonna keep recording this because you know what, it doesn't take that long. I don't think it's going to kill you guys to watch this whole process go through. Well, I'm not going to show the whole process, but you know. You know what I mean by. But it is hard. Oh, wait, no. Okay. Right there. Okay, finish. Red Snow's done. I'm just going to leave this connected. You can see here it's all processing on the device now. Uh, I'm just going to set this onto the table now. So that way you don't have to hold it. All right, and if we take a good look right here, we unlock the device and swipe over. Cydia is right there. This like took about like five minutes at best. I, I didn't keep track of the time. Uh, you can look at the time of, of the iPod at the beginning of the video and now. It did not take that long. Now, of course, the most uh, time consuming part is actually loading Cydia up. Cydia is the, I know people say that like the App Store and iTunes are the slowest. Oh, I forgot to connect this device to Wi-Fi. Oopsies. I don't think it'll matter if we are just reorganizing whatever without Wi-Fi. But, um, yeah, so I'll get back with you guys and this is done doing this. This, oh, well, what I was trying to say was the App Store and iTunes are known as the slowest, um, apps on this device, which is true if you're talking about the stock apps. But in my opinion, out of any app, um, City is definitely the slowest. This app just takes forever to load. Okay, so now this whole process is done. Um, it just went back to the lock screen, so if we unlock it, and if we probably unlock or launch Cydia, it would start updating and all that good stuff, but for right now, I need to connect to my Wi-Fi. Okay, so now that I'm connected to my Wi-Fi and everything, we'll launch Cydia here, and we'll start updating this. 
user no I'm a hacker JK I'm a, I'm a user so um, we'll let that load it usually takes like a billion years for well, actually this is actually going by pretty fast but um, it takes a long time to do a lot of things so I'm just gonna do a time-lapse now of it doing its little thing here okay so this is the part where we update city so that way it's a functional jailbreak so right here upgrade come or, uh, you could do the essential and get by but I'm gonna do the complete upgrade because you know I want it to work so um, complete upgrade I'll go ahead and do a time-lapse since this doesn't take super long but it does take some time so um, you know confirm it's going to run, so time lapse starting now. Okay, I've gotten through like a ton of YouTube videos, and this thing is still reloading. Like, I, I didn't keep track of the time of what this was doing, but this is just taking way too long. I don't even know what this thing's doing. I have work in almost two and a half hours. Actually, I'm probably going to be leaving for work in like two hours probably or something like that. So um, I don't have all the time in the world to do this. And I'm afraid that this thing just kind of glitched out or something. So if I'm correct, we can just go to... This is where things get kind of shady. Um, I don't know what to do because, you know, I don't want to go to the home screen, fuck everything, and then have to redo this whole process. But I know that after this, it wants to reboot the device, so I'm not sure if I should reboot it or go to the home screen or just let it sit here and just keep doing its thing. So I guess what our course of action will be is to just go to the home screen, I guess. I always did hate how it takes so long to reload the data. That just always made me angry. Let's see if it goes to the home screen. Okay, there we go. We'll clear the RAM as well just just to kind of you know make it better it was taking way too long though I know you're supposed to be patient with these kind of things but it was just taking way too long for that so RAM is cleared let's go back into Cydia here see what it does if Cydia is broken because of this and you know what I just hate jailbreaking these devices I just do let's just see I'll get back with you guys when Cydia opens. This, this app just takes so long to load. There we go. This is what I wanted to see. I don't know why it was taking so long to reload the data. It didn't even need to do that. So right here, restart springboard. I thought it was restart device, but whatever. I guess it's springboard. So we'll just restart the springboard here. Get back with you guys when it's done restarting itself. The device is resprung. So if we go in here and launch back into Cydia. Oops, I can't press buttons right. Okay. Going back in here, you know how long this app takes to launch, so be right back. And finally, after centuries of waiting, because, you know, Cydia on these devices is super fast, we have the iPod Touch first generation jailbroken. I'll let you look at the bottom right there, and you can see it all. Um, of course, this is the iPod Touch first generation. Uh, I will be installing some tweaks, but not for this video. Maybe I'll do a video um, showing off, like, different tweaks you can still install in 2017. I don't know. Um, last time I tried installing Winterbore on this device, uh, completely bricked it. So I don't even know if I'll be keeping this jailbreak on here. I'll have to be seeing about that and kind of playing with it. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And go ahead and follow my Instagram and Twitter if you'd like. It is at the Apple Buyer. No spaces. It will be in the left corner of the video. Yes, I did point it, point earlier before I said my name. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, thanks for helping me out and everything. And peace.